Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Taylor Bradford. This is the House of Sugar Creek and it's April, which means it's my birthday month and this month happens to be a big one. I turn 40. What? That's crazy. So, but that has nothing to do with this week's episode. This week, I am taking you on a journey into my brain and we are going to walk through the design process of a vow renewal and let's go. I'm working on an editorial for a new venue called The James over in Joshua and I had to run up to Fort Worth today to have a meeting with my cake artist, Jamie with Creme de la Creme Bakery and then also I needed to do a gown fitting with our model and Bliss Bridal Salon. So I did that and that's all gonna happen next Wednesday. But I also knew I needed to go get some fabric for one of my clients, but also for this editorial. So I have been trying to figure out what exactly I was gonna do with the tables for this particular editorial. And it's a real vow renewal. So my couple is actually renewing their vows and they have the cutest little boys that will also participate and this was something they had already been planning, which was kind of serendipitous. They were gonna do this in June, but now they're gonna go ahead and do ours for the editorial. So I picked up some linen or linen-like fabric. It feels like linen. Whether or not it actually is, I'm not 100% certain. I don't, don't really think it is because of the cost that I paid or the price I paid. So I am trying to figure out what exactly I'm gonna do with these tables. And I also picked up these, not only is this kind of a color in the palette, but these guys are also a color in the palette. And I just grabbed basically a yard of each one. And I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to make them into napkins. And so having three different colored napkins, or if I'm going to utilize these as kind of like a place setting holder, so kind of like a charger, but with a fabric. So basically I would cut a square and allow it kind of to drape off and then place the plate. So I'm using my ivory stoneware to uh, for this editorial. So that's what I'm trying to figure out is, am I using these as napkins or am I using them as place setting holders. The materials are all different. Um, this one, this is the color, but on the flip side, it's a super shiny satin, um, but I don't want the super shiny side, so I have to make sure however I use it to make sure this is the primary, the primary color and texture and not this shiny side. This, I don't even know what you call this fabric. It is super silky, but it's not silk, but it's it's super silky. So, I mean, it's got a great drape to it. It's kind of crepey. Um, I don't have a clue what kind of fabric it is. Maybe it is a crepe, who knows? And then this one is definitely a lot more linen-like, uh, similar to this one. And so I was thinking about either I'm gonna be using one of our farm tables in this setup. So I was thinking about running this down the middle and then placing the tabletop on it and then using these guys as a napkin. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna pre-stage this as if these were napkins. And while it is super, super large fabric, I think I'll be able to get an idea as to what this might look like with napkins. If I decide to go the other direction and use these guys as place mats, place holders, place setting holders, I, I don't know how it's gonna look because it will be multicolored and I'm going a little bit more minimal, minimalistic with this setup and I think it'll make the table too busy and I really wanna go minimalistic. So I think I'm already telling myself that these guys are gonna be napkins. And yeah, so let's dive in. Oh, 
Okay, so this is kind of the vibe, and I think I'm digging it because we're doing muted pastels, which is kind of what is on this table. These will not be the flowers, but it gives me the minimalistic look that I'm going for. It's still on my farm table. I don't plan on using this super shiny gold flatware. I actually just purchased that recently but I have some other vintage gold flatware that I will most likely use. I like the pop of green because it's also in our color palette. I think I'm digging this. Then we'll have cross back chairs instead of the benches. Although the benches could be really fun and I don't have photos of them just yet. I'll have to think about that. But I think this is basically the setup. So I have super modern candle holders, Everything is super modern on the table with vintage touches. So the glassware is vintage, the brass candle holders are vintage, the flatware is vintage, although I don't know what, where this flatware came from. Let's we'll see. This is made in the USA. Um, Rogers Cutlery Stainless. I'll have to Google that. I picked it up so I could use it. It can be added into the gold flatware. I thought about using silver, doing a mixed metal. This one's way more muted, but I want it to be more brass. I think that's gonna go better. So I'm gonna noodle on this for a while because I'm not 100% sold. Plus I wanna get with my florist to find out what she thinks about this setup, what she thinks about the width, what she plans on putting on the table, as far as what's going to go in tiny glass vessels or maybe a floral frog, a vintage floral frog um, with some dried floral, dried grasses, something like that. Yeah, that's kind of my process. It's all still swirling around up here in my head. So we'll see. We'll, see. we'll find out next Wednesday what I end up doing. Okay, so I am just now pulling up to the warehouse and I actually am about to hook up to our flatbed trailer because I need to go get some metal for a special project that I am doing for a, an editorial that is coming up in just a few days. So I gotta go get the metal. So I'm gonna hook up to the trailer. Wow, he stuck that in there really tightly. <laughs> this will be fun. This will be fun. I'm gonna have to show you how, how tightly he put this trailer next to my extra racks. This is fun. All right, I just need a scrap sheet of paper to figure this out because I gotta go get the metal. Okay, so I am building, let's see, what are these things? These are backdrop stands. They are going to hold a backdrop. So basically, it, this is what it looks like. So just gonna be two inch metal tubing. And because I don't see spatially that well, it's got feet on it like that. And so I'm doing that times four, and this is uh, actually three. Excuse my handwriting. Holy moly, that's terrible handwriting. Three feet up here, and then this is eight feet here, and I believe these guys are going to be three feet. So I need to do the math of what 
and how much I need. Okay, so here is my math. I need eight eight foot sticks and I need 16 three foot sections. If I go the 20 foot route, then I need seven 20 foot sticks. If I go the 22 foot route, then I only need six. So I believe I should be good either way. And it's basically giving me extra no matter which direction I go. Right, so we are here at the metal place and I'm gonna get my stuff together so that we can get some metal. Now we got to drive through. Okay, so I am back with the metal and I still have to go to Home Depot, but I did not want to leave my trailer out there because this is not cheap metal and it's just easier for me to go ahead and unhook it. So there it is. Kind of wish I'd had some video of you guys loading it, but it went really fast. So, you know. That's how it goes. Okay, so I just finished at Home Depot and I ended up leaving the trailer on because I had a feeling I was gonna quickly move the trailer again. So it was just easier to leave it on. That way it can just go back in the spot it originally was. And now I have a chop saw. And Home Depot was really, really kind. I signed up for Pro Extra Rewards. And there was an email that they sent me that gave me $20 off a $200 purchase. And, but it wouldn't actually like give me that offer anywhere. So I went into Home Depot and showed them the email, both emails that I got after signing up. And you click the button and then it just takes you to the app and then nothing. So they went ahead and honored, thankfully, honored the $20 off 200. And so that saved me 20 bucks, which is awesome. And I, they said I probably would get the coupon in another email at some point since I am subscribed to rewards. So we'll see, but I was just grateful that they honored the coupon or honored the offer because it wasn't really a coupon I don't think but who knows Okay friends, it is a dreary rainy day on today's styled editorial over at the James, which is a brand new wedding venue over in Joshua. And yeah, I've got the trailer loaded. The truck has stuff in it as well. And it's chilly outside, but I know this is gonna be a beautiful day inside this brand new venue and I'm excited to get to creating so stay tuned. Okay so that was behind the scenes of what it's like to go from where my design concept comes from all the way to getting things ready, getting things built and day of behind the scenes but now I'm gonna let the pros take over turquoise video to show you what they captured behind the scenes of this editorial which is now published on the perfect palette which I will link to in the description below. And before we get there, I want to remind you to like, subscribe, ring that bell, turn on those notifications, 
and I would be so grateful to you if you did that. All right, take it away, turquoise video. Thank you.